ladies and gentlemen my name is Chris Joko I want to introduce everyone to spreadsheets and then for a beginner you just need to note certain terminologies and what they actually meant and then you are off if you start well you are sure to progress without stress i want to talk about some details i want to talk about the cell of an excel spreadsheet i want to talk about the row the column the range and then the function these five details i am going to be talking about now the first on the list is the cell the cell is this boss that you're seeing this single boss is known as a cell in a cell the range of the boss in either vertical or horizontal makes up the row or column and so your column is a set of cells in the horizontal this is what i meant by that this is a boss this is another boss this is another boss i'm using that as an example as you're moving down this is a range of cells in the horizontal this is known as a column and so if these cells are in the vertical they are known as a row so this is a row they are in the vertical and so if you check very well this is row 13 this is column d and so that is just how the row and column is so when you're moving from your left to your right along a line that is a row if you're moving from your top to bottom along a line that is the column so i've established the cell the row and column next is a range in a cell generally when you enter your data like you're seeing on this screen record your data has a beginning it has an end let's take this for example first name first name here has a list from row 2 to row 11 is the list of the first name and so the range of the first name data is from row 2 to row 11 in column A so the range of this data first name is from A2 to A11 a2 to a11 a2 to a11 this is it
A2 to A11. That is the range of the first name. Mind you, the very first row, which is row 1, contains the headings of this data. And so, when you are about to do analysis with this data, you have to remember that the first row is for headings. So, it is not part range of the data. So, for the last name, as expected, the data is between um, cell B2 and B11. So, that is the range of the last name data. Don't mind me if my um, drawing is not very straight, but you should understand what I'm talking about. That is for the last name range of data. The quarter one sales range of data is from C2 to C11. C2 to C11. So that is the range system. Now I've talked about the cell, the row, the column, the range system. The last I want to talk about now is the function. The function. In a cell, functions are like um functions are like um what you use to obtain what you need time for example this range of data if you need to calculate the average of quarter one sales you need the average function to do that and so functions are like vehicles that will take you to where you are going if you are moving from one point to another you enter a vehicle if you need to do something that which you are going to use in doing it is the function in a cell. If you need to multiply, you need to do the appropriate thing. If you need to get average, you need to get the sum, you need to um, know the... Um, you need to use count if, you need to know the, the range of data that fall between a particular number and another you need the function so that is how we point out a cell functions are they are very complex some are very simple as well a cell has over 200 functions but your usage the uh, is based on what you need to do part time if you're not using a particular function you might not need it uh, in some cases, it is when the need arises that you not think like, okay, let me try. There could be this function. But if you're learning a cell, you can just go through, try to type the initials, and then, if possible, you will not see the functions that are there. Let me use um, the average function, for example, so that we know what we're talking about. Looking at the quarter one sales, which is between this, I've selected it. Um, between C2 and C11, that is the range of the data. Assuming I want to know the average of the quarter one sales, I'm going to use the average function. And so, what do I do? I come between below here and then I type the formula for average. You can see where I've placed my cursor. And then I say equals to. That is how you begin to call up function. You must use the equal sign to call up the function. And then you try typing the initials. A is the very first um, alphabet in average. V, E, R, average, it comes. You can see that there are several average functions here. We have the average itself which is what we want to use here. This is the one we're interested. We have the average A, the average if, the average ifs, the D average. These are other functions. Some of uh, the average, the one we are interested now is the beginner stage. The average if, the average ifs are other forms of average that are there. As we proceed, 
we'll be using the average if the average ifs and then we'll see where they find their feet how you can use it and when to avoid using them and so let's proceed and say average or complete this is it average you pick the one you need and then you now select the range of the data you drop your cursor here and drag it from beginning to the end you can see it's showing us c2 to c11 that is the data every other thing will be taken off because you don't need it so you can just press the delete key to take away every other thing i'm just doing this because i know most of us here are using our phones that is why i'm doing this on a laptop it's same process even on a laptop it will not show you these other numbers that we deleted so this is the range of the data now c2 to c11 c2 to c11 that is the range of the data so we have used the average function our intention here is to get the average of the data that lies between cell C2 and cell C11. That is the range of the data for Q1 sales, quarter one sales. So, having done that, the next thing we'll just do is to hit our enter key and then the cell we do the manipulation for us for those that will be using phones this is what you just need to click on this to tell you okay yes i've uh, achieved what i want to do if you don't have an enter key you hit that you can as well press this if you are using the same type of cell that i'm using here i'm going to be showing us how to download this for those that don't have laptop so that you can easily navigate so i press my enter key a cell has given me the range the average between the average score of um the average quarter one sales from c2 to c11 that is just how to use the excel function so i i want to believe that everyone of us here um we have time to look at these five details mentioned in this video the cell the row the column the range and then the function these are five details that we move you from one stage to another in a cell if you can just know how to use these five details if you can just know how to navigate understand these five details in so it means you are ready every other thing will come after and they are not difficult they are not difficult this is just to build your confidence to tell you that there is nothing here it's just that you have to move from one level to another there are so many persons that will be saying this and it will be very elementary to them why others that have not done anything like this will find this video helpful in their journey into becoming an excel expert as you can see equals average bracket open c2 double colon c11 close bracket hit your enter key the average will be displayed for you this is the average and so um thank you very much and do find time to look at this very well if you are a beginner in a cell.